Hello, Reformers, and welcome back to Star Wars The Old Republic Jedi Knight Edition. Or should I say Kira Carson Edition, because we're wearing her armor. Oh yes, I know many of you weren't particularly happy with the outfit, but I think you'll like this one more, because it looks more Jedi-ish, doesn't it? But it is Kira's old armor, I guess, as you can plainly see. There you go, Kira's, Kira's robes, Kira's gloves, belt, skirt, boots, and I'm wearing some random headgear, because I thought, oh, well, why not? It's a rather nice symbol, isn't it? And it makes him look rather pretty. Do you like that? Do you like him looking pretty? Well, whatever the case, he looks, uh, well, he looks quite different from the previous armor set, I have to say, so I hope the people that had the complaints last time are going to like this a little bit more, because I personally feel it looks a lot more Jedi-ish, doesn't it? The perfect outfit to fight the Emperor, am I right? I'm sure those of you that understood about the outfit beforehand and actually liked the adaptation are going to understand where I'm coming from, but those of you that complained probably won't. But nevertheless, let's head on to Dromundkas, the capital city of the Sith Empire, and complete the Doomsday Mission. We are ready. Let's do this. Use your ship's intercom. Okay, oh well, we're going to be giving some sort of speech, no doubt. Now, I'm unsure whether it's going to automatically activate it. Maybe? No? Yes? No? Okay, apparently not. We've landed on Drummond Kass. Any sign we've been detected? Good for us, but the Republic fleet's getting blown to bits up there. We need to wrap this up fast. I examined the coordinates Tolbraga gave you. The Emperor has gone to an ancient temple deep in the jungle. Access is highly restricted. What do you know about this ancient temple? The Emperor built it. He imprisoned his enemies there for many centuries. It is a place of vast, dark power. One of the Emperor's private shuttles is not far from here. It has full security clearance to enter the temple. Great. Now all we have to do is fight through a city full of bad guys trying to kill us. Moving as a single unit will give away our objective. We could pair off and follow separate routes to the shuttle. The rest of you will have better odds if I keep the enemy focused on me. Do not be overeager. You're the only one who can face the Emperor. If you die, our mission fails. You all have the shuttle's coordinates. I recommend no one be late arriving there. Oh, okay, that was kind of weird. I was thinking that maybe Zaylan would get the last word there, but apparently Lord Scourge likes to have the last word. Oh, yes. Okay, so now I would just like to mention that I do have full modded gear, but unfortunately the modded gear that I have is level 38. And so considering I actually think I am a little bit under-leveled, as you can see this is a level 50 quest, I'm a little bit worried about fighting the Emperor with level 38 gear. So I'm going to be heading on over to the Imperial Fleet before we land on Drummond Kaas. Okay, well, it seems like we will need to enter a phase almost immediately upon arriving on Drummond Kaas. Now, obviously, as we can see here, we have level 48 modded gear. Really nice. Very, very good. Has given us a huge HP boost. Maybe not so much damage, but... The HP boost was definitely what I was going for there, because Kira is probably going to be doing most of the damage. So, let us head inside. What are we going to be doing? What are we going to be fighting? That is the question. I'm actually unsure right now. Can I... I can actually use my mount. Can I just avoid all of these guys? Probably... I probably can. Well, let's see if there's a bonus mission first. Maybe there is, maybe there isn't. Yep, there is a bonus mission. Okay, well, I'm going to be attempting to do that, I guess, because, well, we need the experience... Kind of. Yeah, not particularly, I suppose, but... Well, I guess it's okay to do. Let's get some nice force stasis going on here as well. Come on, eliminate this guy. Come on, Kira. Yes, there we are. That's what we like to see. Wow, these guys are dying very easily indeed. Wait a minute, what level are these guys? They're level 48 as well. Oh, well, that's fantastic. Well, I guess the Emperor is probably going to be level 50, so... I guess it's good that we have better gear now, but yes, still... Always want to make sure that you're prepared for everything, I suppose. Maybe I don't even need to do this quest. How much do they give me? 13,000. That's actually not that much, considering we may be going to... Mm, I'm actually unsure what will happen after this. 
but I guess we'll find out as time goes on. Maybe Ilum? Is Ilum going to happen after this? I guess so, but is it a level 50 place? I guess it is. Huh. Well, hopefully they'll give a good amount of experience because goodness knows I'm probably not going to be getting anything here. That's for sure. Probably not going to be getting level 50 here. So, yeah, Ilum will be what we go to next, I suppose. I will fly us to the Emperor's temple, but you must face him alone. No one else can resist his direct influence. We will provide support and destroy the Emperor's guards. The droid can use the temple's network to coordinate our efforts. We get one shot at this. We win or die trying. Every one of us is expendable. If the galaxy is to survive, the Emperor must fall. You are all on your own. Succeed or fail, no one is coming to save you. Speak for yourself. If anyone needs help, I'll be there. Unless it's you, of course. Don't be foolish. We have surprised the Emperor, but he will recover quickly. We cannot grant him time to gather his power. Fly us to that temple. Let's finish this. You can count on me. Victory or death. I'll take victory. Let the Emperor have death. Okay, well, yes, I think I may have heard some copyrighted music there, so don't be surprised if that is muted. Yes, that will not be very good to leave that in there, of course. Okay, so now we're going to be making our way through Temple Guardian Droids. When do they have these? I don't remember them upgrading to these. I must have a talk with Zaynash. I think he's behind this, perhaps. Well, yes, I think we can actually avoid most of these now, so I will be doing that. It doesn't seem as though we will be getting level 49 before we even arrive at the Emperor's location, so I guess the best thing to do is get there as quickly as possible. Wow, now I have to say that looks like a momentous statue right there. Look at that. It looks like he has, what, what is that, seven hearts or something? Uh, seven green hearts. He must be, well, some sort of demon. But yes, right now all we need to deal with is these very, very easy droids right now. And, ah, we also need to use the force field control panel. Oh, okay. Well, that doesn't seem too bad, but wow, this is a very grand area. I'm surprised... That there aren't many more units in the vicinity, I've got to say. It seems actually relatively simple to get here. argue with those numbers. Tell me where I'm going. Okay, yes, I know, I know, Lord Scourge said no one is worth sacrificing victory, and I'm sure Sergeant Rusk would also agree. However, this is our wife, this is Kira, so we definitely will need to make a small detour here. I know the fate of the galaxy is at stake, but it's Kira. How can we let her perish? She has been with us since, well, since Coruscant, in actual fact. That was our second planet ever with Zaylan, so we really need to make sure that she survives and is with us at the end. Maybe we'll actually get her assistance against the Emperor, but if she's injured, like T7 says, then, well, obviously, 
Yeah, probably not gonna happen, is it? No, she's probably going to want to rest or recuperate. Get some sort of medical care, perhaps. Maybe meditate on it. But, yeah, there it is. There's the phase. Oh, no, wait. No, there's actually no phase. Okay. Well, that's not too bad then, I suppose. Eliminate that guy, and where is she? Ah, we have to defeat some Imperial Guards. Okay, so where is she? I can't actually see her right now. Is this some sort of... Ah, there they go. Okay, they've cornered her over there. Okay, I'm actually really surprised that she's having trouble. She is incredibly damaging, so you would think that she'd be able to just get past all of these no problem at all, but... Yes, story, story, yes. It is very much story. Okay, now, come on, take out that droid. I don't want it healing anything in case it actually can heal. Yes, look at that. Look at that damage. Very nice indeed. Come on, take it out. There we go. Now, we need to eliminate some more Imperial Guards, but I would like to help her with the Shadow Assassin first, of course. And then we can take on these guys together. There we go. Wonderful. Very nice indeed. Now we can speak to our companion. Of course. Oh, she's got the zoomies. She's just going all over the place. T7 said you were about to be killed. That's a little melodramatic, but accurate. Thanks for dropping by. This is exactly why the Council says we shouldn't form attachments. I distracted you from your mission. I hope that doesn't cost you. How about a kiss for luck before I go? I wanted to do that on the ship, but everyone was staring. You better get moving. Since the direct approach got me nowhere, I'll focus on leading the Imperials away from you. I'll be all right. Go finish this. May the Force be with you. Ah, well, I hope you are okay, but I mean, you're, you're full HP, so you should be fine, but you never know. You don't have a T7 with you to heal you or d deal damage or whatever the case may be. Okay, so we are going to have to make our way back to the Emperor's Chambers. Obviously, we'll go back to the Force Field and see what is beyond. Okay, so we have meditated a little bit and thought on what we will do next, and our first thought, of course, is to ascend to the Emperor's Chambers. I'm actually unsure what's going to happen here because, well, we have no idea what... Oh, wait a minute, what, what, what is this? We have no idea what the Emperor's abilities are. Of course, we have not fought him before with any character, so well, we're going to see. Wait, what is this, though? I actually have no idea. Ancient droid parts? Okay, hello there. I just gained some experience and... Wow, this is actually pretty nice. I'm going to wear that. Wow, these are actually not bad, if I do say so myself. Wow, that that's kind of sad that these things are actually better for me. Yes, they are quite a lot better in actual fact. Oh my, that is super sad that... They are better, but I, I assume that that was maybe for T7 back in the day? Or something along those lines, because droid parts? Well, yeah, obviously he doesn't need that right now, because they've removed the ability for companions to use items, but, well, that's actually a pretty nice little extra, I suppose you could call it. Ah, uh, there's going to be many more droids to fight, isn't there? After all other enemies have fallen, we have only one left, and as we can see by the lightning or flashing, there seems to be some sort of powerful being up ahead. I wonder who it is. Let's find out. The circle closes. The end begins. dissipated your energy, saving the weak. There are consequences.
My life spans millennia. Legions have risen to test me. You're a threat to every living being in this galaxy. If you won't surrender, I will destroy you. You are a blind insect, contemplating the void of space. My ascendance is inevitable. A day, a year, a millennium, it matters not. I hold the patience of stone and the will of stars. Your striving is insignificant. Let your death be the same. Ooh, I don't think so. Thank you very much. We are going to be taking you down. Oh, yes. Now, let's see. He seems to be dying very, very quick. Oh, hello there. Okay, well, I guess we just... Wait a minute. Who? Who is... Who, who are we actually fighting here? Is it this one? I think it is that one. I'm actually unsure. Okay, there seems to be a lot of them, at least. Okay, so... Oh, that is the one. Okay, we just killed him. Okay, he didn't even... He didn't even do anything. Okay, well, I suppose that's T7's damage for you. You harness immense power, but you lack the purity of will to direct it. I will not be contained. I cannot be redeemed. Death is all that remains, and you will not kill me. I will open your eyes to the Jedi way. I'm taking you to Tython. You clutch at your old master's ambitions and ignore your true desires. <sighs> It's over, Lord Scourge. The Emperor is defeated. I felt nothing. You haven't killed him. Strike! Do it now! I will not be your trophy. If I must die, I choose how. And everything dies with me. The temple is coming apart. We have to leave. Get back to your ship. Okay, well, all we need to do is uh, apparently get attacked by some Imperial Guards, but yes, I, as you could see, I was very, very tempted either to say, I am a Jedi, or kill the Emperor. Either one I was deciding on, and then I decided, oh, you know what, we'll just go down the middle. We'll just go down the middle, because even though it is highly unlikely that he can be redeemed, I feel like following Tor Braga's wishes maybe was a spiritual sort of dedication to him, even though he did fall and become a fallen Jedi and various other things like that, but hmm, I didn't know. I didn't really know what to go for, because I didn't really want to go full light side, and I didn't really want to go full dark side there. So, yeah, no, re no, no real grey Jedi option was there. Yeah. Master Satil, the Emperor is dead. Do you read me? The Emperor is dead. We read you loud and clear. Imperial warships are dropping out of hyperspace all around us. We must retreat from Drum and Kass. Rendezvous with the Republic flagship Valiant at these coordinates. I'll meet you there. Master Satil, out. You gave the Emperor time to gather his strength. We are all fortunate to be alive. One of my crew was in danger. If I had to make that choice again, I'd do the same thing. To repeat a mistake and expect a beneficial outcome is a sign of insanity. It's gonna be a long flight. Somebody wake me when we get there. Well, there it is. All we have left to do now is travel to the Valiant. And as we walk through the Valiant's halls, we are going to be greeted by Master Satil Shan, which appears to be in the docking bay.
You saved our galaxy from destruction. The Emperor's death has turned the tide of this war. Combined with our success on Corellia, and the damage inflicted on Drome and Kaas, the Sith are in chaos. It's glorious. For too long, the Republic has feared the Sith Empire. Today, we've proven they aren't invincible. You raised the morale of every Republic soldier, from Coruscant to Hoth. For your actions on Corellia, General Varsuthra recommended you all receive the Crescent of Service. But you've earned more than that. It is my honor to present each of you with the Republic's highest award. The Cross of Glory. You will live forever as heroes of the Republic. Jedi Knight Kira Carson, Sergeant Fidelton Rusk, T701, Dr. Archibon Kimball. Archibon? Seriously? Just call me Doc. Please. Even you, Lord Scourge. Though you joined us for selfish reasons, you saved more lives than your own. Scourge will be a Jedi before he knows it. Do not count on that. I remain only until I am certain the Emperor left us no surprises. And then there is you. How do we even begin to account for the turns your life has taken since you first arrived on Tython? You embody what every Jedi strives to become. Your courage, commitment, and leadership have seen us through this dark time. From this day forward, you are no longer a Jedi Knight. You are a Jedi Master. I will uphold the Jedi Code and bring justice to the galaxy. These are the moments we strive for. When the hope of victory becomes real. When we can see peace on the horizon. May the Force be with us. Well, there we have it. That is Chapter 3 of the Jedi Knight completed. And we also have now become a Jedi Master. We don't look like one right now, but <laughs> maybe that will change as time goes on. So, let's take some Bulwark gear, I suppose. That will be rather nice. And we will now be traveling to the Republic fleet to, I suppose, participate in the Ilum storyline. Something I'm not very happy about. I don't particularly like Ilum. It's actually rather strange how both snow planets are not particularly my favorite, but, well... I guess we'll see what happens when we get there. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.